Now that we're in the month of November, we have talked about doing something about being thankful. I started the month of the of November by asking you, what are you thankful for? But I also said in that episode that when Dr. Tommy and Ellie returns, we will then kick that off. So without further ado, it is a Monday. We're in November. And what better way to kick off a Monday, November with Dr. Tommy and Ellie as we go with our very famous theme for the month of November. What are you thankful for? Have faith, let it begin. Starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say, have faith? Again. Let it begin? Again. Say, have faith. Again. Let it begin. No, no. No? no? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah! Oh, Noah. <laughs> Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Oh, oh, <laughs> Have faith, live again. When it starts right now. Dr. Tommy and Ellie and Have Faith, Let It Begin is on the air. We have a special guest here today, Mr. Noah, Squiggly and Wiggly. Noah, how are you? All right, Dr. E, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> All is good from my end of the world. Uh, I'll tell you, your boy is looking amazing. Um, I'll tell you, between the three of us, he is definitely the most handsome uh, person in the room. Hallelujah to that. Update for everybody. Uh, Noah had his follow-up appointment. And uh, we're going to postpone the MRI, and that will be on December 6th. So we're going to continue to pray and hope that everything continues to go on an upward uh, spiral. And that, to be honest with you, it's funny because that's really what I'm thankful for at this very moment, is that my two children are better. They're feeling better. And um, I'm thankful for doctors. I'm thankful for, you know, having a, a new pediatrician um, that really had a great bedside manner. Big shout outs to Monroe Pediatrics, who did a very great job. And um, and I just wanted to, you know, to say thank you to all the doctors out there to do hard work, including yourself, my good friend. Thank you very much. And I'll tell you what, um, that is not a sick kid. I'll tell you that right now. That is a strapping lad. <laughs> I'm telling you. So, E, you know, in your busy schedule, um, you're a father, you're a husband. Um, I don't want to say what you're thankful for, but I, I can only I've known your family a little bit uh, for, you know, for almost two years and we're coming in on our hopefully one year. Well, we're already on our two years. I'm sorry. And um, one of the things I got to do this past summer was meet your son and hang out with you and your son as we went to the old timers game at, you know, city field. And I know how proud you were and it was cool to see you interact with your son. It was cool to see that different side of you, a side that I have never seen. So I'm just curious, what are you thankful for um, during this time of year? You know, I have to tell you, I live a very blessed life. I have a wonderful family. I have a wonderful wife. My mother-in-law is with us on weekends. Get to hang out with her and watch baseball. Uh, my three kids are all over the world doing their thing, uh, which is good and bad in the sense that, you know, you always want your kids to be Noah's age, but they grow up and they fly away, which is actually healthy and normal. Um, I love getting up in the morning and going to work. I love what I do. Um, you know, I've been blessed with good health and good friends and you among them, Angel. So there's really not any aspect of my life that I'm not happy with. Absolutely. And you know, one of the things that I think I wanted to talk to you about and I wanted to do in this month, because this is a very difficult month. This starts, oh, here comes Ariel. Ariel, you want to say hi? No? Okay. Well, one of the hardest things about this month, um, this is where, and, and this is kind of also a little bit of a prelude. Um, this past uh, Sunday on your show, we did a an episode regarding suicides uh, uh, amongst cancer survivors, and 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 we touched a little bit about everything. Um, and this right now we're coming into in the month of November as we start the holiday season. Well, no, today's November. We're in November. <laughs> well, yeah, but wait for November. You want to say hi to Dr. Tom? You know you're messing up my episode, but that's okay because you're 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 too cute. Okay, but anyway, the November is very very high on, on yeah. Well, hold on, let me say something about November, and then you could say something. Okay, is that cool? All right, this is what I love. This is what I'm thankful for. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. But but honestly, November is a very tough month. It kicks off the holiday season, and this is where people 
who are dealing with uh, mental illness or anything, depression, this is a big part of why I wanted to talk about being thankful because even though you and I can sit here and talk about the good things in our life, we deal with and we struggle all the time. Um, and we try to find the positive in a negative. And I'm hoping that if somebody's listening today that's feeling negative, will not take what we're saying lightly and just say, well, these are two lucky individuals. No, we deal with problems on an ordinary basis as well. Well, that was so well said, Angel. You know, I was just going to say that that's a really important point. Um, you know, anybody who listens to this episode and thinks that, you know, you or I don't have our dark days or we don't have our challenges or we don't have our, um, you know, issues and struggles and obstacles and all that. Um, absolutely. You know, we are not that charmed. Um, but I will tell you that I think one of the lessons and let's make this our take home lesson for this podcast is to be able to, you know, appreciate uh, the good and recognize that the good outweighs the bad, even when you think the bad is um, unconquerable. Absolutely. And, 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 you know, I have a young lady that's going to be coming on to our show. I'd like to introduce her eventually and put her on with us. Uh, it'll be the first time that you and I not only will co-host and host an episode, but we'll have an actual guest. Um, and I, I don't want to say her name just yet because we haven't finalized everything yet. But she does deal with it. She's actually had dealt with addiction and she would like to share her story. And I think it's going to be a very impactful story. And that's the reason, another reason why I'm doing, why we're thankful this year more often than, than I used to do it. Um, but, you know, I'm going to let you have the last word. And I just want to thank you, uh, E, for always supporting me and allowing me the opportunity to have trusted me to do your show as well, the, the Croc Podcast, which is on every Sunday at 9 a.m. Um, do you want to say hi to Dr. Tom? Ariel's back. Want to say hi? No? How about you say this? Have faith, let it begin. Ariel, you're in a very vixish mood today. What's going on? And it starts? Yeah, with you, of course. All right, Dr. E, take us home. Sure. Um, everyone, have faith, let it begin. Family, uh, we are so honored that you're listening to our show today. Um, each one of you are very special. Each one of you are very cared for by us. We really wish the best for you. November, as we're heading into the holidays, could be a rough spot for people. Depression starts coming in, anxieties, um, issues at work, issues with family, um, certainly. And I think that what we want to try to emphasize is for you to look at the bright side, to look at the silver lining, to look at all the blessings you do have in your life and try to let those things dominate the day and win the day, as opposed to looking at the the darker parts of all of our lives, which we all have. And if anyone tells you otherwise, uh, they're either, they either have schizophrenia or they're lying to you. So I think that as we move on toward Thanksgiving, um, I want everyone out there to think about your blessings and to be grateful for your blessings and to shout out to your creator, our creator, um, how how much you appreciate all the blessings that you have in your in your life. And I think that would be the way I would recommend that we approach this angel. And next week, we'll get a little deeper. Absolutely. And finally, I just want to leave off with a great prayer um, for all of you out there. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you. Grant each and every one of you peace on earth. And also remember that God is not a, a God that's going to hurt you. He's not a God that's going to punish you. He's a God that's going to love you unconditionally. Whether you make your mistakes or not, he is a forgiving God. And we ask this of you in your precious name. And all of God's people said, amen. And never forget. Ariel, you want to help me? Yeah. Say happy. Have faith. Let it, let it begin. Have a good one. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know, and it, yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday, and it's going to be live at 7.30. 
Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. <laughs>